very nice day today temperatures are a little bit lower than they should be at this time of year it's only like 17 degrees nearly 18 degrees and it should be really 22 23 at this time of year but i am in hello by the way i am in leatherhead now if you look back on all my videos and also in my life i've hardly ever been to leatherhead i've driven through it hundreds and hundreds of times but never really stopped here i don't know why there's a lot of history here I'm at the uh, parish church, uh, dedicated to St Mary and St Nicholas for a little walk around. There's a chap over there digging a grave, um, which is very, I don't see that much nowadays because most people are cremated, aren't they? Um, but yeah, he's just, I won't go over, it's a bit personal, but he's just over there doing his, doing his thing. So I thought I'd just come to um, Leatherhead, have a look around this beautiful church, and then do a riverside walk um, up to the ancient bridge and um, lunch in the running horse which is 600 years old which would be lovely and my friend Ma uh, Mandy her parents used to run the pub back in the 1970s this historic pub so that's cool so uh, Susan hopefully I'll bring back some memories for you um, but yeah let's have a look around Now Leatherhead itself is a very ancient town. I think there's something in the will of Alfred the Great to do with Leatherhead. Obviously it wasn't called Leatherhead back then. And on the 23rd of February 1791, the founder of the Methodist movement, uh, John Wesley, he preached his last sermon here. How about that? Last sermon. He was very prominent in around, walking around Surrey in the southeast, uh, preaching Methodism. <laughs> um, was a sort of new form of uh, Christianity, another offshoot, there's so many of them. But yeah, he did his final um, uh, uh, sermon here in Leatherhead. Some of this church dates back a thousand years and goes back to Anglo-Saxon times. So it's actually a very ancient parish. There has probably been a settlement on this site well before that, as a lot of these places are. But yeah, it's lovely. This little cluster of tombs here is really interesting. tower is 15th century, 15th century, and the artist Turner did a great painting of it back in the day. And of course we're going out into the Surrey Hills, down towards Brockham, places we've done loads of videos from. Actually the last video was from there. <laughs> no, it's not open. Some sort of wrapping around the door. Um, it's a nice plaque. 1736, seventy five memory of Mrs. Diana Turner. He's mentioned Turner, I think a different Turner, obviously. Isn't that lovely? Oh, it's a shame it's not open. There are 18th and 19th century tombs underneath the floor. Of course, I wouldn't see them, but I found that rather fascinating. Which would be good. And there's some medieval or some, no, some Tudor graffiti, I think, by the door that leads up to the tower. So somewhere, somewhere in here. It's a lovely old door. No. Come on, suburban churches are starting to be open. It's wonderful, but this one isn't. Which is a shame, um, but what can you do? This is nice. 
church walk. So nice little houses along here, just by the church. It's called church walk, of course. Yeah. And the turquoise colours there. That's nice. As we're here, I'm going to quickly walk up to the Methodist Church. Talking to John Wesley earlier. Let's go and have a look at the Methodist Church and then we're going to do the countryside walk along the river, which would be rather lovely. Oh, it was open. So it was people milling about so couldn't really do much. Um, I just want to show you the juxtaposition between a modern church and obviously the old church over there. It's called Leatherhead, the other one's called Leatherhead Parish Church, although it's dedicated to St Mary and St Nicholas. It's generally known as the Leatherhead Parish Church, which is interesting. Right, we're going to head down to the Riverside Walk and um, Mount Zion Chapel, 1869. Oh, okay. Strict Baptist Chapel Channel. Chapel. Channel? Huh. Mount Zion Chapel. Okay. 1869. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go back to the old spring, which I went to a couple of years ago, and uh, see the water flow there. Where you up in the blinds put down? You love it when nobody's around I wanna call out pound town But you bite my lip, don't make a sound I'll be down if I'm leaving without you mm. Mm. I'll take what's left. I'm used to coming out second best. Always fail to pass the test. I'll be damned if I'm leaving without. So, this is Thorncroft Bridge. It leads up to Thorncroft Manor, which I'll have a look at in a minute. We can't go in because it's private property. But here, now, those who are long term viewers of my channel would have seen I came here about three and a half years ago. And there's an ancient spring just underneath where the river mole it sort of flows out into the river mole here so i will quickly take you down then have a have another look a natural spring because obviously surrey is rich in springs um yeah let's have a look there we go Absolutely crystal clear. Absolutely crystal clear. Many years ago, hundreds of years ago, it would have been used for medicinal purposes, to cure elements of the eye or the ear. I mean, it still looks pretty clean. It's coming out from the Surrey Hills. But would you drink it or anything these days with modern pollution? Um, but it's absolutely beautiful, as you can see. mugs still in the car. It'd be a nice spot just to stop and have a cup of coffee with the AMSR of the uh, water just flowing through. So it just flows just out there into the River Mole from the Surrey Hills. And, yeah, quite chilly obviously.
and there's Thorncroft Manor, built in 1772. Can't go any further because there's security cameras everywhere and the postie going in. So, on that note, we'll carry on down doing the riverside walk and uh, enjoy this lovely day. It's warmed up a bit now, which is good. Here we go, and hopefully I can find you a little bridge. This is rather interesting. Um, it's on private land, but hopefully we can see the Shell Bridge. Let's have a look. I've always said I think the River Mole is my favorite river in Surrey, the River Mole. I like the Tillingbourne as well. You'll say, oh, what about the Wandle? You live near the Wandle, but nah, Mole, Mole Valley sort of gets it, I think. River Mole. There it is, the Shell Bridge. We believe it's part of a landscape garden that Capability Brown created. I don't know how much truth there is. I think that's I think it's true. But yeah, beautiful. Going back a couple of hundred years. It's on private land there now. I'm glad I saw that, the Shell Bridge. I didn't even know it was there until yesterday. Still just exploring your, your own county and you're still discovering stuff, isn't it great? So it's a shame it's on private land, but what can you do? Oh, a nice little ploughed field. Lovely. I love the smell of a mowed lawn or a ploughed field. It's got a lovely summer vagrants about it. Fragrance, I say vagrants, fragrance. Great, isn't it? And there's a pigeon just chilled on top of this little waterfall. But yeah, I'm, I'm good, I'm good. What's really cool, they've got these little benches. Every couple of hundred yards you can sit down and enjoy the river. Yeah, the Vermeule. Now this will take us out by the road up to the station. Um, and near the running horse where we're having lunch. Yep. River Mole Local Nature Reserve. We are here, Island Ford. Okay, this isn't so pleasant, to be honest. <laughs> but, um, signs of danger of death. Oh yes, we come out by the by the bridge, right here. Yeah. So I think that the other you breached the rest of the path just over the back there. So let's go and have a look. 
confession to make. Oh, I can't remember the last time this happened. I think I've stepped in some dog poo. So I need to wipe that off. Oh dear. Leatherhead bridges were built in 1783. 1783. I always need to repeat the, the year, don't I? When I say something like, oh, it's built in this day, I always need to go, 1783. 1783. It's a nice little stroll on the uh, river. Bunch of guys just down there, all chilling out with their lager, their cheap lager. It's fine. They said, how you doing? I said, yeah, good. You enjoying the day? They're going, yeah, yeah, it's good, man. <laughs> Wild walk on the River Mole Town Bridge. You are here. I'm just going up to the road here. Yeah. Rather nice. So, yeah, it's warmed up now. So the weather's not been brilliant lately. Uh, very wet, <laughs> aren't we always? I'm trying to get this dog muck off me, off my shoe. Um, we might have a quick look round to the Surrey Water Company building, which is quite historic. I don't think it's used anymore for anything. Um, I think I might go back to the car and get a coffee. Ah, oh, underneath the bridge. Some nice murals, very nice murals, very cool. Beautiful, I love going under bridges. Isn't that great, look at that. Doubt there would be an echo, but we'll try anyway. Ah, ah, not really. We'll just walk up to the other bridge. And then um, we might head back to the car after looking at the water building. I think that's a railway bridge because the station's just over there and looking at positions, so that's a road bridge. I think this is the railway bridge. Yeah. So there, the Leatherhead Bridges. Great bit of engineering. Okay, we're gonna head back now. It's nearly lunchtime in a very historic pub. Must be one of the, it's the oldest in Leatherhead, it's got to be one of the oldest in the South East, I would think. Um, so many pubs claim to be the oldest this, the oldest that. Um, but it's still old, so it's still cool. This is meant in good humour. I'm in the middle of a car park in a town centre, Leatherhead, and you think this is always a problem when you're out in the sticks doing videoing, but there is a guy streaming along. Didn't he know I was coming? Right, East Surrey Water Company, built in 1935, now abandoned. Such a shame, a bit of architecture.
So lunch at the Running Horse, previously run by my friend's parents back in the 1970s. Ancient pub, let's go. They haven't had it there. Elizabeth I spent a night in the inn due to floods making the river mole impossible to cross. Um, unfortunately, they had a problem with the kitchen last night, so there's no food being um, served. I had a really nice chat with them. They let me take photos so I can show my friends the interior. So uh, we'll have to look somewhere else. But that's such a shame, but I will return. Uh, real return. Great, great um, landlords there. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, yes. So I've just come around the corner to the Penny Black, just on the high street, for lunch. Lovely, let's do this.